What's up everyone, welcome back to Average Ed's Tech Channel. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. As many of us out there know, the biggest headache for your Amazon devices are when they buffer and they crash. That's one of the biggest culprits we encounter, not only when you're IPTV streaming, watching movie or TV show apps, or just watching live TV in general. On today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys two great applications that will quickly and easily help you alleviate or eliminate a lot of the buffering you're gonna encounter on your device. These two applications are very easy to use and easy to get, and once I show you guys these two applications, I'm gonna be showing you where exactly you have to go to get this installed on your device and start tracking down what is causing your buffering or freezing. With that being said, let's get right into it. The first application I'm gonna be showing you guys is the Analyti Speed Test Wi-Fi Analyzer. Let me open it up. As soon as you open the application, it's gonna be running a Wi-Fi test. I'll give it about 10 to 15 seconds to give me a read on my Wi-Fi speed, and then I'm gonna be giving you guys a breakdown of what everything means on screen. And there you have it. The test roughly runs about 10 seconds before it gives you results on your Wi-Fi test. And here, the great thing about this application, as you can see everything on screen, everything is broken down to better give you an understanding of what your Wi-Fi is capable of. On the left hand side, you have video stream types. So for those of you having problems with your Wi-Fi for streaming movie and TV shows, streaming anything online or IPTV, you could get a better idea of what your Wi-Fi strength is by not only seeing what it's capable of streaming as far as video stream types, or on the right hand side, seeing the Wi-Fi strength Wi-Fi quality and internet speed. So that gives you a better understanding on whether or not you're underpowered or overpowered for whatever you wanna stream. Please disregard my internet speed as I'm right next to my Wi-Fi, but I'm gonna be giving you guys an example as if I had issues with my internet speed. What I wanna do first is the easiest ways on trying to eliminate buffering. My first recommendation is unplugging your modem for about 10 to 15 seconds and replugging it in as that reboots your modem and gives it a fresh start to hopefully alleviate some of the more typical problems you will find with buffering. I'm gonna do that now and then I'm gonna do a test again just to show you guys if there's any difference on just rebooting my modem. And I'm back guys. I rebooted my modem and I'm gonna give it roughly about 30 seconds to fully reboot and get up and running. Once that happens, I will run another test just to show you guys what a simple thing, just as unplugging your modem and plugging it back in, does to your internet speed. I now give my modem about 30 seconds to 45 seconds to get up to speed before I test again and see if there's any difference in my internet speeds collected from this Wi-Fi application. Let me hit test again. As you can see, the test is starting. As you can see here, the speed test is a little bit better than what it was. So that's just a quick example of just what something as simple as unplugging your modem could do to your streaming ability. Going now into this ap second application, this is something else I'm also gonna be doing just to show you guys another speed test after the, doing this other method and seeing if that changes the internet speed at all. I'm gonna go back to home and the second application we're gonna be talking about, we're gonna be taking a look at the second app called Background Apps and Process List. The great thing about this application is show you guys what applications you have running on your background, which is one of the hardest things to find out from your Amazon devices. Typically on your applications, we typically wanna jump in and out of applications very quickly to get ourselves up and running, whether it be streaming a movie, streaming a TV show, or watching anything in general. So we kind of don't realize how many applications are running in the background, which could affect something like buffering or lagging from your devices. So I'm gonna first open the background app. It's gonna load up and read my system to make sure how many applications I have running. It gives me here a prompt, I got it. And as you can see here, I have a total of eight applications running on the background. Believe it or not, this is a lot of applications running in the background that could definitely affect not only my internet connection, but the RAM on my device, which could in fact be a lot more sluggish and giving me a lot more freezing and crashing 
for my typical applications. So what you want to do first, you could definitely go to close all applications. And what it does, it takes you back to every single application that's open. And what you want to do is force close. Go back, force stop, go back. So it basically gives everything in line to make your ability to force stop all these applications a lot quicker. So we're going to go to force stop again, force stop. So once you do click force stop, just click back on your remote, click force stop, back. And as you can see here, we have another application. Let me go close all apps again. I'll force stop this one back, disregard this one as it is our Wi-Fi tester. And I will force stop the downloader app. So currently we just have the Wi-Fi speed analyzer running right now in the background. And we're going to run another test just to see if that difference made anything to our internet speed. I'll go back to home, go back to the Wi-Fi speed tester, and it's gonna run another test. And there you have it, a nice increase in internet speed from doing something as simple, like I said, as closing your background applications. I'm gonna be showing you guys one more tip on what you can do on your Amazon devices to see if your internet speed could just creep up just a little bit more and give you a better chance of having a better streaming experience. What well, my recommendation is, once you click on home, scroll all the way up and all the way right to the settings tab. Once you're there, click down, keep scrolling right till you hit applications, press enter, scroll down to manage installed applications, press enter, and here's a list of all the installed applications on your device. Well, my other tip is, once you have selected an application, for example, the Silk browser, click enter, scroll all the way down until you see clear cache. This is something else that people definitely do not pay attention to, and that definitely affects the performance of your device. For example, here in my Silk browser, the cache on my Silk browser application is 61 megabytes, which again, will definitely affect a device with low RAM, for example, as my Fire Stick 4K. So what I'll do is clear cache, and it brings it down to zero. And I just hover over all of the applications and see which of these has more cache that could definitely affect my device. And as I can see here, nothing is too crazy. So I should be good for the most part. Here in the downloader, I have a megabyte. I'll clear that. Back out of here. Keep scrolling up. App Store, that has 7.66 megabytes. Clear cache. Hit back. Keep going up. And that seems to clear the majority of the applications that are hogging a lot of the cache. What I'm going to do now, go back to the home button, go back to the application and LED speed test. And I'm going to do one more test to see if that last bit helped the internet speed at all. And there you have it guys, another increase in my Wi-Fi speed. So again, I feel these are Definite tips and tricks that you should be able to use on your device and hopefully see a big enough difference that will allow for a better streaming experience. Again, do disregard the amount of internet speed I have. This is for the sole purpose of seeing an increase in my internet speed from doing these simple tips I think you all should do on your Amazon devices. Now that I've shown you how these two applications work, let me show you real fast how to install these on your devices so you also could get up and running and eliminating a lot of the buffering and crashing you encounter on your Amazon devices. What you want to do first, I'm going to go to my home screen, click all the way up till you hit home and click left to the magnifying glass. Both these great applications are all available in your Amazon app store. So it makes the download process that much easier and that much quicker. The first application that I was talking about regarding the Wi-Fi speed is the Anna. I'll have the name of both of these applications on the top right hand corner, just so it makes you guys a lot easier to write it down. Here you have it, the Analyti Speed Test Wi-Fi Analyzer. Once you have it selected, press enter. It's going to confirm what you have chosen. Again, you want the multicolored emblem here and the Analyti Speed Test Wi-Fi Analyzer. That is the one I showed you guys earlier in the video. And once you click enter, it's going to download and install it. So you could follow along what I reviewed earlier in the video. The next application 
is called the background. Well, let me first delete all of this. The background processes, background apps and process list. I have the name of this application also on the top right hand corner, just for those of you that want to jot it down and either download it now or download it later. But that way you have the exact one I showed you guys in this video. Once you have it selected, press enter. And there you have it. It confirms what you have chosen and you want the one that closed the apps that are running in the background of your device, help save on RAM and processing power of your device. So there you have it guys, two great applications that I think anyone with an Amazon device should definitely have and make sure their device is running as close to 100% as possible. That's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you did find this video, if you did find this video helpful in any way, please definitely like this video and subscribe to my channel down below. And I hope everyone out there has a great rest of your day. Take care.